M0FXB, let's connect our Wi-Fi. So, the device is on, Cisco 525G. So we're gonna hit the, this is like an envelope here. Hit the envelope. And you're into the sort of what we call the setting, also is a settings menu. Go down to uh, network configuration and turn on the Wi-Fi. You go, you put right or left, right here and look off, on, and then set. Then you go down one to wireless configuration. Click, click set. Oh, now I'm click the tick here. Tick and then wireless profile, click select. And then you'll come up with this. Now that's no good, so we're gonna click option and then we're gonna go down to edit. And then you want the top one to be WPSK as it shows here. And then forget the profile name, you don't really need that. Now I'll just show you how you how the, the keypad works here. So if we just um, clear a letter here and then push one of these on the keypad, uh, let's go number two, which is ABC as well. You push it and as fast, you have to be quite fast. And if you get it wrong, just hit delete character here. So delete, let's say we want B, and um, we go one, we, we say we want a capital B, you have to go quite fast, then it moves to the right on its own. You never move to the right. Then you want to go down to SSID and in the same system, add your username for your router, uh, which is great. And then I didn't change that one there that says cipher type. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but the WPA shared key is your password on your router. And again, use the keys in the same way. Remember, delete, yeah, uh, change it. You've got to be fast. You have it on the screen there. And then you can click save, yeah. So I'm just going to show you how to change those letters again. So. We'll delete a couple of characters here, and then we'll say we're going to use, we're FXB, so we'll go to X, see that? It moves along, and then we'll go to the B here, A, B, see that? And then you save, you always save at the end. If you save, you have to go back into edit, so option, edit. And then you go down, you've got Mercury, we've got the all the way down, password, and remember to save, yeah? Uh, and then back out, and if you've done it correctly, it will be, it, it will show up like this, look. See, we're all connected, and, and then now you, I'll be able to show you, if I put the IP, I'll find it on my, I'll do an IP scanner search, and then we'll find that on my IP scanner. So, it is showing up here, and this is our settings page, but the main thing is get yourself a scanner, use something like IP scanner, and it showed up as, it's quite a long number, like a serial number, isn't it, here, and it's on 108 here, 168108. And when I put that into my browser, we're going to do the same thing when we set up uh, for what we call provision and activate my Hamshack hotline account. Look, I can now go in and you definitely need to be able to log into admin, which I can, which means it's been reset, it's got no password and this device is not locked to Vodafone or any other server. So 7.3, hope this helps you set up your Wi-Fi.